Hello everyone and welcome to match day 10 of season 13 of the Simulation Soccer League Major Leagues. I am Sock with you today for this one. And well, I mean, let's be honest. We've seen Reykjavik United continue to dominate and it may very well be that we see in them continue that reign. Actually, given who they face, though, it is going to be a, a long travel time over to Hollywood. In the meanwhile, a bit of a fight in the mid table, but we'll see first off. Junior Sao Paulo against Charles Wallace of Alverine. Sao Paulo with that narrow 4 3 3 in place. And the Black Forest side also with a very similar 4 3 3. I don't believe exact. And you see, well, Reykjavik continuing to dominate. 9 from 9. Sao Paulo and Schwarzwald are 4th and 5th. And a win would see either side temporarily move into 3rd spot ahead of AC Romana. AC Romana do still have their match to play against CF Catalonia later on. Of course, Romana have fallen back down in the pecking order. Now 6 points back, but a win would do wonders in helping to close that gap. Here is Ancher, cross there for Funyuns, good intercept though there by Schenkinger. Forward for Maximilano, good takeaway there by Bull. Funyuns now over to Brisky, who launches one forward for Newman. Great cut inside, beats Schenkinger, and the shot beats Sanatsatral. 1 0 lead, just two and a half minutes in, not even. Jeff Newman with a dazzling bit of individual play. He's got the ball across, cut inside, was able to outrun the chasing defense, and the shot perfectly placed. All the early throw of the game thus far going to Sao Paulo, the home side. And currently the advantage side, clear by one point. And also an extra three on goal difference, of course, will not matter until potentially further results take place. As here is Dian forward now, looking for an equalizer, but tapped away there by Anderson. Wanted to defend now, though. Schwarz will whip it in, short side, but it goes over the bar there, I believe, from Whittington. There's another throw in though. Very similar position that they were in previously, but now Maxim Milano looking far side, but headed away briefly, but a shot from Pedersen and deflected in. Paradian equalizes. Here's another look from the reverse angle. Maxim Milano sends it over, was headed away by Archie, but Pedersen, it is definitely a pass in there, and then Dian just Pretty much knocked it right into the ground, took a little bit of speed off it, but not enough that Anderson would able to get over. Or was able to get over, rather, and that resulted in the goal. Now all tied up, about halfway through this first half, but here is 44, looking to change their fortune. Tip over for Newman, came back for 44. Newman may have been fouled, does not matter. Oh, and 44 converts. And it's 2-1 just immediately after that goal. Worked in here, 44, taps it through. Yeah, it definitely looked like Nimmo was fouled there. But it, you have know, a foul there from Peregrine Plink. It just meant that the ball fell right for Owen 44. There's a look there, all inside there. I'm not sure where the problem is. Have a way though. Um, poses no trouble for them as they take a 2 1 lead. I guess it was dependent on the ball and player and you know how you define possession and all that. There's a long drive and Sun Sasra couldn't hold it. So it ends up rolling out for a corner. That does feel like poor play there. Probably should have held on to that one as there's a header away by Maximilano, whipped back in by Newman. 
Headed away once more. They'd have a ball with a shot, and that was deflected. Ash falls out of play and has gone out for a corner. Whipped in again. I believe I was fisted away by Salad Sarsfar. Funyuns whips it back in field. Newman a long cross. Headed away again, though. Defenders swarming around Owen 44, not allowing him to get ahead to it and possibly put a shot on that. Here is Dian for another corner looking to equalize. Here is Shankinger. Building the clearance. Now Dian in field. Tries to curl one around, but he's well off target with that one. That should take us to half time. Now Paolo currently leads, though. Trolls water definitely feel like they've had some chances that have not gone their way. The credit has to go to Yannick Anderson. He's kept them in this match. Most likely from equalizing. half has begun and Gold are immediately looking to try and mount an attack. But that one's stolen away and the counter attack now on. Lot of Schwarz Water was playing up that time. Here is Bull. Weddington did get Bull first. Wasn't sure if there was a foul there, but is out for a throw. He is Anja to take. Nero just gives it right back, but a good intercept there by Dian. And now Schwarz Water will look to put on a break of their own. Ooh, nice play there to beat Alisov. And now Dian. Bayramirez centering ball there, looking for Maximilani. Did chest it down, but ran into the path of Lexington. Worked away to the open mayhem of the anchor point of the Sao Paulo attack. Here's 44, looking over for Ancher. Ancher, long cross in, good header away by Schenkinger. But now Brisky fields the resulting clearance. Back in field, have a ball! No mistake from there. Too much space, too much time. It's 3 1. I don't know exactly how Schwarz would have allowed this to happen. I mean, you tell me, Brisky, that's fair enough, but then you just have a ball left wide open there. No one covering. Just takes one step and takes an easy shot to beat Sat on Sarsadol. And Sao Paulo now with a comfortable lead here and might end up challenging for third place pending the result of the following game. Here is Ancha launching one forward here for 44. Takes a step back, flicks across, looking for Bull, but didn't fall their way. Now it's Deanna over for Pedersen. Back for Whittington. Of them looking for an open player on another edge. And there's Peregrine Plink, the intended recipient, taking it forward and finds Maximiliano inside. Now a shot! What a cross! Zinnit Engine Tonic hammers it home and it's 3 2. The cross came in and the shot so brilliant. Ramirez probably should have gotten a foot to it. I'm not sure if they were aware of where the ball was. I mentioned Tonna could slam one into the top corner of the net. That's thrown a little bit of a twist in the tail here. Still a long way to go in this match though. Noel looking to boot one clear, but only as far as Arasov. All whipped in there, was good and well as accepted, but now here's Archer. Archer stepping inside again, and shot was blocked there by Pedersen. Corner too short for any one of Sao Paulo to get on it, but the clearance was fielded, but Brisky couldn't get back on.
Here's another corner though. Here is Brisky. Edda falls for Lexington. Now in field here for Mayhem. Mayhem a shot and it nearly found its way past that on Sartoral. Knocked him off his feet but was well cleared away. But another corner here to defend. Here is Newman. Header in is too high. Lexington can't get a shot on target. And it's a goal kick. Here is Archer looking inside. Oh, thought of it came up. Pedersen did come back for him though and cleared away by Zeroni. Now here's Archer again, whipped in field. Oh, Sadan Sasral had to quickly dive on and prevent 44 from making a shot on net. Perhaps finding another back pass to awaiting Newman. Newman now. Newman, oh, a long firing one. Almost a bit off target, but Salah Sanfra still elected to field it. All whipped in, header across. Didn't find anyone. Is perhaps the last chance for Schwarzwald to attack, but they're playing it back here for Whittington. Inside here for Plink. Referee blows his whistle. That felt a little premature. Looked like there might be something on there, but Sao Paulo eventually did find their way into this match. I didn't really eventually find their way into this match. I mean, it was pretty much what I led from the outset and never really let off, although it has to go to Jay Brisky there for the two assists and the player of the match honors. But Tom Pedersen did quite well at the opposite end, same end, whatever you want to call it. Either way, strong win there for Sao Paulo. They'll move into third place for now, but that's pending the result of this game. Romana hosting Catalonia. Here's how Romana lines up in the 4 2 3 1. Look out for Walter Pinkman on that right edge and CF Catalonia with a 4 3 3. I'll have Hugh Mann, Barocca Aloisi, and Dogwood Maple up front. As we see the standings, as stated, Sao Paulo currently sitting third. But if Romana can seek a point out of this, they will put themselves back up there. I just look to take one away. We get ourselves underway. Here's Anivier immediately looking to get things started, but a good intercept by Ryan. Spoon tries to leave Busquets on, but a bit of a misstep. Yavanen may have fouled Machu, but given play on. The floor takes it forward, tries to whip a corner in. Yavanen defends it away. And we have a corner. Early going here. Romana looking to press the advantage. King just sends it back for Nunez. Lansman's flag did not stay down. Here is a good run on there by Julius and Eloise sustained and now man good block there by Roma. The man was offside. See the Lansman's flag go up, but either way, all was made. Here is Ryan. Goes to Juliusen. Now for Spoon. Nice whip forward there. Aloisi heading it forward for Staines. Staines an option. Goes in field. Good clearance away by Rummer. 
She works her way to Pinkman and a quick counter on here from Romana. Quick feet being shown there. He takes it back from a 1-2 with the floor, but Yavin an easy takeaway. Gunnison will look to launch the attack from the back here. Hester down by Aloisi for man. Immediate pressure being put on here. Aloisi, good save there by the Heretic. Was gets tried a little shot on there, but Pinkman was there before one could really be put on. And Romana averts the danger for the time being. Over the corner. Here's King! Tried to get one through, but Gunnison tipped it away. Nunez will just go for the same option here. Here's... Oh, good try by JQ, but blocked by Hugh Mann. Now to Flora again from the other side. A lot of time off the clock here. With this uh, trying to get back as here is the floor trying to walk one in, but again tipped away by Gunnison. Here is King now. He tries one and it's blocked by Maple. Nunez back in and a one timer from King. That time is too high. The Heretic launches one following an offside. Smart over to Anivier. Now Schweinsteiger. Little step by to get Fras Spoon. Ryan does put some pressure on Vaughn Force to the back pass for Nunez. Hugh now lotting one for Pinkman. A header and a good save by Gunnarsson. Nearly just fell in. Here is Pinkman. Pinkman across the field. Ryan heads it away. And now a counter attack is potentially looming here for Catalonia. Ryan forward. Four stains. Still looking for an option. Does look for a wide one. Hugh Mann. Too high with that header. Forward here. Minor looking to launch one. Schweinsteiger over the top. Defenders got a little bit out of position, but they blocked the shot from the centering ball. You found Nunez, nearly found one through, and it nearly worked out, but good work by the defense to block. And there's another case of good defense blocking. Pigment blocking that shot from Maple, and now King with no support, but does launch a ball forward. Send one back for Q so he can get a through ball in. Clever play here by Romana. Over to Schweinsteiger and Gunnarsson again. Here is the floor over. Good header by Smart, but came off the post and cleared away. Here is King now. King forward here for the floor. The floor tries one, but well over the bar. Floor now over for King. For Nivier. Now Q a shot and again saved by Gunnarsson. That one is headed away by Catalonia and then once more by Maple and Nunez will just let it one, one let that one go out there for a throw in. Florida Schweinsteiger. Schweinsteiger over to Nunez. Ryan blocks that one and it's another corner. Smart header across, good header by Ryan off the line. Nivier sent it back for the floor, now Tyson King is shot, but blocked by Maple. Pinkman wanted to chase after it, but it's a corner again. Nunez across here. Sets one up for Q, but it's just wide. And 
it seems like Romana are fully in the X Cope. As much as they've been trying to rally shots together, especially off set pieces, they haven't been able to get it done. I mean, look at the shots there, 18 to 6. Feels like the kind of game where you see Catalonia just sneaking away with a point here. See if that's the case as we head to the break. Second half has begun here. Here is Tenderloin over to Busquets. Launching one forward here for Mann. Mann takes a step back here. That's his options. Try to look back for Yarden, but Pinkman there to intercept. Now the right side launching here with Schweinsteiger, Pinkman, to Flora Machuo leading the charge. Julison takes one away, but it falls back for Nivia. Here's Nunez. Stops one up. Gunnarsson saves again. Another corner. Floor across, headed away there by Juliusen King. Trying to head one for the floor there, but put way too much swaz on it. Here's a free kick for Nunez. Short one there for Pigman. And Ivia, how has he missed that that badly? It didn't matter because he was offside, but my goodness, you're giving it right in front and you absolutely biffed it. Nunez looking to go over here. Machu's header just over the top. Nunez and Smart working in tandem for a moment. Now across here for Machu. Machu looking, fires one in. Gunnison saves again. Here is Nunez to take yet another corner. Smart about header, off a post that time. Romana just cannot seem to find the net. Here is Maple. Tip forward here, here is Ryan. Ryan scores! Was that flag not up? Have a look here. Busquets, I think, foul Schweinsteiger. It's launched forward there for Ryan. Ryan flots at top cheddar. Not even a second look. Catalonia are going to steal three points out of this game. I'm done. Even with the heretic making a couple of strong saves. Once that ball was put in, it's all over. One goal, all it takes. 25 shots, nothing to show for it. I've never been more disappointed in the performance in my life. 20 corners, 2-0. I am shell-shocked. All credit to Catalonia, though. 
The defense held firm. Blocked plenty of shots. Got bodies in the way. Made things incredibly difficult for Romada to try and find a way through. But frankly, what I have seen has left me with one of the most disappointing results that I've ever seen in the SSL. I've seen robberies. I've seen thefts. I've seen grand larcenies. But that takes the cake. I apologize if I seem like I'm irritated by this. It's past midnight here in the local time. I... I'm just tired. I'm just really, really tired. And watching a performance like that with double-digit shots on tar off target. And seeing a team just absolutely lose its collective mind in trying to score a goal, and then losing to a team that didn't even manage single-digit shots is frankly a blasphemous. Hollywood coming up here against Reykjavik. 4-2-3-1 for Hollywood. The offset 4-2-3-1 for Reykjavik. Let's just get this on the road. I mean, it's 1st versus 7th, and that is a precarious 7th as it stands, pending a potential Buenos Aires win. We'll end up seeing them in last, but if they can get points out of this, good for the soul. Good for my soul. Early play here by Reykjavik is about as uninspiring as... I don't want to hammer on it. I'll leave it alone. Sixteen minutes gone here, and no real threat being shown so far. But let's see if Hollywood could potentially build up to an attack. Nagatoro finds Scud. Oh, bad touch though. Taken away by Torres. Possible now. Tiptoeing the sideline. Crosses one in. Oh, that's a tough header, but Bobby hit the post. Perhaps we see that. We did see Glenn Smart hit the post earlier. Maybe, just maybe. We see a similar tail as here is a good try by Tacker, but just wide. Oh, where have I seen that before? I sh I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It it still lives within me, even if I try to dismiss it. Why would thus far creating decent chances with the ball? And a team that has clearly been worse on form. I mean, it's hard to be. Better than a nine-game undefeated streak. Bobby plays back for the diver. Forward here for Yore. Now casual. Oh, nice flick ball for Bobby. And a good save there by Hall. Corner given. Corner in was headed up quickly by Muller and then headed clear. Now another chance here. Oh, I think Lightning was fouled. Nothing given, though. Gerard ends up sweeping it up at the back end and gives it over to Tissier, who makes a nice run forward. Chicken, however, an easy takeaway. Ends up forward now. It's about a halfway for Bobby, but a good hit and clear there by Washburn. Sends up to the last line of defense where the diver was. But Reykjavik with a quick play out from the back. Looked for casual, but a good intercept there again by Hollywood. Now they send it forward here through Tiki Taka. Looking for options. Back in field. Washburn across for Muller. A good drive, but just too far to the left. Looked like Sterling had it covered. Rashford over. Torres. Oh, nice bullet. Found its way through almost everyone, but Hall was able to make a save. 
That's a crucial one. Would not have wanted Reykjavik to be having that momentum going into the break. Here's another corner, but a good hold there again by Hall on the header. Now that will see us through to halftime. Interestingly though, it's been Hollywood, I believe. Oh no, I'm looking at the wrong colours here. I've been looking at the wrong colours the entire time. I'm disappointed in myself. I, I, I blame it being 12.07 in the morning, frankly. Either way, the most short shots I've gone to Hollywood. Definitely the quality of chances have been with Reykjavik. Have to see whether that trend continues in the second half. As here we go, getting back underway. There's a tiki taka. Pretty much just calls an immediate cease to that one with a sliding challenge, but he's not going to play Hun possible with a quick throw in. Nothing really comes of it. Here is Andrews across there for Chicken. Rashford, Muffin does make a nice stop. The diver there is a sweep up though. Jordi now for Possible. Possible looking for an option. Back in field, looking for an option. Trying to find Bobby. It's gone in though. It's off of Washburn. And that is an own goal. And an unfortunate one at that. It's possible, just dancing his way around Gerald Gerrard. Washburn does get in the way of his shot, but couldn't clear it off his line. Hall is absolutely fuming. Now Hollywood needs to find a goal. In order to perhaps dissuade that perfect record from continuing. Where is Lightning? Forward for Muffin. Does find Gerard on the left edge. Andrews tried to block for cross, but it came right back to Gerard. Gerard now across again. Here's the TCA! And it's gone in! Just as they wanted the goal, they get the goal! Just finding its way across. The TCA flies in, beats Chicken on the header. Well, technically, that's a big technically, Hollywood players have scored two goals. Unfortunately, one of them is for the other side. The diver. Board for Yore. Darpeta across. Now Andrews. Oh, good clearance there. But only went back as far as the diver. Now forward here. Torres. Torres, a good shot there, but Hall saved it. And just double check it through here. I don't believe anyone's had a perfect season. You know, I've seen a few attempts run very close, but thus far, Reykjavik could be making it 11 from, oh, well, sorry, 10 from 10, rather. Got a bit ahead of myself. I mean, if, if they win, next game would be a chance to go from 11 from 11, but they need to put a goal in here in this final 20 minutes and change in stoppages. Possible. Trying to get by Gerard. Does get a cross in there. It's fallen for Bobby. Gave it up to casual. Was blocked there by the combination, perhaps, of Washburn and Valor. Are cleared out. Okay, 
Gerard, a short throw here for Nagatoro. Gerard across there for Lightning. Muffin forward there. Tanker tried to get one, but was taken away there by Yore. Playing out from the back here with Scarpetta. Now possible. Forward for Andrews. Andrews nearly danced by Jarrah, was taken away, but again a challenge. Falls for an opponent. Possible taking that one out. Chicken now. Forward for Bobby. Now over casual. Good defense of any post by Hall. Good sweep up again, though. Andrews was able to take it back, but possible shot there blocked by Scud. Taken away again. Reykjavik basically just reset. Send it to the back of the line, and apparently Kajal was offside. I have no idea how. But he was. There's a big mess in the middle there. Pops up there. Torres tries to get one through. Another shot held by Hall. Guys are not really having too much attention on that, but the pack just swarmed the ball and don't really get much of a view into it. But now the final four and a half minutes possible across for Torres. Falls for Bobby. Oh, it's gone in. I think Hall got a deflection on it, but it was on target. And Reykjavik might just make it the bow, Derek. Andrews possible fight across. Torres does get it over to Ricky Bobby. Definitely on site. I think that actually deflects off of Valor. And because of that, Hall is sent the wrong way. Kaja was there for it as well, so perhaps it's looking to just block them off. But that's Matt Reykjavik. Might have just kept their perfect record alive. They remain invincible. There's still a couple minutes left. Perhaps a change of fortunes. With so little time left and possession. Oh, not until then. Scud with a takeaway. Yoda gets it right back though. Rashford forward for Andrews. Andrews just basically dancing along the sideline. Oh, sorry. Along the... I don't know what you call it. The width of the pitch. And there's a long clearance. There's some hands up. I think we're appealing the tackle was offside, but... Reykjavik got there first. Bobby just works it back. It seems like they might just get away with one here. And they do. Reykjavik United looked very invincible, but maintain 10 wins with a late match winner from Ricky Bobby. And I'm sure a lot of teams right there, perhaps even Hollywood, I believe, may hold the points record, must be thinking to themselves. Ah, oh, dang it. But in reality, Reykjavik, I mean, they had double the shots, only double the shots on target as well, and only four times to expect goals. Sure, they had a bit of luck go their way with the deflections, but sometimes I don't ask how, I ask how many. For a moment, it's still a goose egg. Uh, anyway. I will mean that potentially Hollywood could fall to last place, but it will mean that what else? Ernest will have to try and get a point here against Tokyo Sporting Club. One definitely seems like it's uh, admittedly the least of the draws, but it's in this main event slot. But I mean, uh, I apologize for a moment. Um, just had to double check something there. Um, yes, Tokyo Sporting Club currently sitting in sixth at eight points, plus Ellis at seven. Uh, of course, with uh, win differentials, it would mean that Buenos Aires would go to six if they get a win here. Here's our Tokyo lineup with a four wide, four three, three sky rise up front. And we'll see Buenos Aires. It's a bit of an offset four three three with Harrison playing a little further up. There's a look at the standings. The top four locked in right now. Tokyo could, of course, go up to fifth, I believe. If they do manage a win here over Schwarzwalder for Svalbardine. Sorry. Oh, Leapfrog, Schwarzwalder for Svalbardine. Need to beat CA Buenos Aires. 
Here is Vachetti. It's a little slow play to start here. There's Kaido now. A little wheel around. Got Nunez moving, but that corner, well, that cross, forces a corner. Adama. Had it out. Kaido. Back for Adama. Locked back here for Vachetti. Hood now. Pressured by Bradford, eventually does take it away. Worked forward, but. And forward for, for, for Sodom Panda, excuse me. Was not there, and here goes Anquai trying to make an attack there. Lin takes it away, though. It's Sagi now. Ooh, nice attempt by Kaido, but deflected. I believe by Knight, and then out for a corner. Damn it. Cross in. Header. Ooh, good hold there. Oak down right on his line. Didn't really take much of a step back, but did hold it. Kaido for Soderberg. Not a great ball there. Looking for the Anquai. Sagi does recover, though. Now here's Vissa. Vissa tries one. Might have been deflected over. It was. Oakdown does send it for the corner. Kaido, good header in, but... Oh, not a great header away, rather. Here's got Ooh, nearly found one. But Oakdown, another great diving stop. Damu whipped in, but quickly sent back out. Kaido Adamu tries an incisive low cross, but Panda clears it out. And as far as Alish Hunter Shet. And the pass looking for Adamu. Too long. And a goal kick. And quiet. To run forward, sent back here for Visser. Visser tries one, took a couple deflections, and then was cleared. Now he's Bradford, little candle working here. But Abishan to Shen and basically closed it off of the pass. Then Kwai tried to work one through. Soderberg again, everyone's just trying to work as hard as they can for that ball on both sides. Very physical contest so far. Here is Tali. It's a physical contest, but it's also a fair contest, I would say. Soderberg. Oh, good takeaway though. Here's a counter. Oh dear. Sodom Panda ran right onto it, but shot was too far to the left and perhaps too high. Once again, Bruce Patron, though, had it for a moment, then lost it. Now clearing, looking for Bradford. Oh, dear, Hoot's completely lost him. Bradford, one-on-one, -on -one, hits the bar. Hoot heads it away, just for the corner. Really monumental change in momentum. Bradford on the counter, uh, by the corner there, held by Rube. Oh, that one falls through. Asagi tried to get it back, but a good sliding challenge there by Harrison took it away. Now he's the Kwai. Racing forward now. Across field. Oh, dear. Keeper missed it. And Shinji Kaido pretty much had a straight shot to score. I think that was Windows. I apologize if you heard that, but either way, 1 0 Tokyo. And quite just across here, yep, yeah. Oakdown missed it. I think it did take a bit of a deflection off of Lin, but either way, Ball has to go to Oakdown there. You have to stop that. You cannot let Shinji Kaido get that much of an open goal. And once it got through, I mean, it would have been a wonder if he missed it. And I've seen some wild goals missed, but that would certainly be one of them. Where is Kaido now? 
It's a little dash through the field here. Here's Yang Kwayo. Oh, he's found his way in. And it's 2 0. Oh, me. Oh, my. I don't know, Harrison was just playing a little bit too far forward. Oakdown couldn't cover the near post in time. Got right through. The corner now for Tokyo as well. Headed away, but it's for Sagi who tries one, but way too high. Alien Kwai. One in here, headed away though by Knight. Now Vandersloff. Oh, good takeaway though. Good shot and saved by Oakdown. I'm sorry, I, I'm really, I'm really losing it right about now. Uh, Damu. Edirin. Oh, good save again by Oakdown. Damu's header was uh, somewhere. Oh, good knockdown then. Rube had to make a good save. Corner now. Buenos Aires looking to get one back in this final four minutes of the first half. We do one as for momentum. Sodom Panda thought he was fouled. Nothing given though. Only Anquai just suddenly takes off in the coast to coast run. Nearly the whole way. Harrison took it away. Now this are in the swoop on it. Oh, Oakdown misses everyone. Oakdown misses the ball. Ball misses everyone, and then it's just cleared away. I rise here, a takeaway on a Buenos Aires throw in. And oh, look at Kaido coming in to swoop up the crumbs. A great roving playmaker that time. Isagi now, this guy right hits a crossbar, I think. This bounces out. One final chance here for Buenos Aires to perhaps change momentum in this one. That one's launched in there. Rube took it away. Panda a strike. It's ended up in. Here's another look. Rube punches it out. Panda. Oh, it's ended up I thought it had taken a deflection of a Tokyo defender no it was the outside or the inside rather of that post just deflected its way back in there 2-1 now but a big momentum bit of Buenos Aires after Tokyo had some big chances would have led to them taking the lead in this one Second half begins. Tokyo currently holding that one goal lead and looking to extend as they attack to the left of your pitcher and just did. Shinji Kaido doubles and it's 3 1. Little indirect, Bruce Patron knocked it down. Kaido sent it back for Emiliano Yoichi Asagi, and just right back to Kaido. A little of spot opened up between Bruce Patron and Harrison. It was well timed as well. The two of them did put him on side too. Just that little gate opened up and just smacked it into the bottom corner of the net. And time is uh, quickly passing right now, with nothing really going on. It's good for me. 
I hope no one scores, and that they all go home. At this point, Tokyo can go to fifth, I can go to sleep. But clearly, that's not what these two teams want from me. Sagi forward here for Kaido, walks back for Hood. That's on Foliang, quite tries one, but it's just wide. Perhaps Buenos Aires will be looking to get a goal back. Maybe two to steal a point away. Maybe three, perhaps, but wishful thinking, admittedly. Oh, that's a, oh, that looked like a foul there on Vandersloff. I'm surprised that was not given. But Kaido now on the counterattack. Could be a two goal swing, but that's not for a moment here. Here's Vercetti. Back just to the anchor point. Kaido. Long cross in, looking for the Kwai, found it, and finds the net as well. I think that chopped in off of Oak down, but that should seal things up here. Kaido, launching across here, Lian Kwai takes it, let's see. I don't know if it was from that angle, but not that it matters. Here's Tali with a free kick and did deflect off of a wall, so it will be a corner here with just under five minutes of spare regulation. Rise heads that one out. Rashford, oh, a good header away there. I heard and quells the danger. Is Vercetti infield here for Soderberg? May have been fouled. And is there's a penalty given. Now we get to watch him jog along to the monitor. Da, 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 Can you tell I'm just not quite in the correct mental capacity to probably be commentating this match? And no penalty, as it turns out. So where was the fun in that? And the referee just decides to go over there and blow full time at that point. Shinji Kaido, two goals, two assists, perfect 10. Dan Kwai, two goals and an assist for a 9.7. It was those two's games. Great work by them. Okay, goes to fifth. Well, status remain in last place and take another Significant hit to their goal difference with a free goal loss. Look at the standing soon. Please. Not only enough, the expected goals were three goals to one. So Tokyo still absolutely dominated and dominated in the scores. Right, there's a look at the standings there. Sao Paulo, push past Romana, going into third. So, Tokyo also just passed Schwarzwalder, thanks to Schwarzwalder losing and Tokyo winning. They're in fifth now, Schwarzwalder in sixth. Alo and Atletico, Buenos Aires, they remain where they are, and the gap widens in terms of goal difference. That's it. I've been Sock. For everyone of the Simulation Sock League, I'll see you next time. I'm so tired.